What's up, y'all? It's me, Uncle Funko. We're live on the Narte Network. Who's out there? Not very many, it doesn't seem right now. Um, but that's all right. Sometimes it takes a second to get started. I already got five likes. The last time I looked, it said, it said two watching. Yeah, but I can't see the bat at all. That'll work. A little lower. That'll do. Okay. What's up? What's up? What's up? Is anyone out there? No one? Yeah. No. I mean, no one's saying anything. Oh, you put that media source uh, um, uh, behind the camera? I wonder if I got a pop. Yeah. But not. Not behind the background, I guess. What is that? It's not even my life. What's up, Poo Butt? <laughs> On the TV interview. Yeah. yeah. That's tight. Yeah, I figured as a Narcos Network jam, why wouldn't we have Narcos Network uh, shows on? Well, it's Focal Fitness. I'm about to get started with my workout. Today I'm going to do uh, leg and gluteus uh, workouts to have a nice, cute, toned butt. Like all the actors. You gotta uh, have a nice butt. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I got a lot of flap on my butt and on my tummy. Yeah. And, like sides. I'm trying to work, I'm trying to get that, that, I'm trying to get that nice tone Hollywood body. I gotta take the shirt off. Yeah, I can't work out in this polyester DVD shirt. What's it say? We're watching? Yeah. All right. Water balls over here. I just had a salmon platter at Via Del Mar a couple hours ago. Very delicious. Very healthy. Um, you know, it was a. Uh, um, it was just a, uh, a grilled salmon fillet on a bed of brown rice with um, some beans and some veggies. Carrots, broccoli, and uh, zucchini. Steamed. That sounds delicious. It was awesome. Yeah, the uh, relatively uh, healthy and low fat. Yeah, I would say it was a very healthy, well balanced meal. What kind of noises? See? Okay, well, there's some sort of technical error. Is that even me? No. All right, guys, doing the fungal fitness thing. I'm not really, uh, I didn't bring my, my workout boots. Um, I guess we'll see if I can do it. It's, uh, it, maybe the machines are taking over. Maybe they're sending the signal right now. Huh. That's a weird, weird, weird thing that's happening. It's... Yeah, all right, guys. Well, thank you guys for tuning in to uh, Funko Fitness. Um, I think the machines are hacking into the, the mainframe here. It's some weird noises. So we're trying to figure that out, sort out um, the security protocols, and I'm going to figure this out real quick. Who's up in the building? Um, I see Poo Butts here. What's up, Poo Butt? Um, who else is watching? Say what's up in the chats. He is a very interactive show and the network as well. And we like to uh, hear from our fans and we love to uh, say what's up and chat it up and shout y'all out and 
do the damn thing. What's up? Who's here? Who's watching? Saturday night, uh, 9 p.m., so you know it's time for uh, Uncle Fungal's uh, Uncle Fitness. And we're here once we uh, get this uh, thing figured out. We're going to uh, start with the uh, with the, the regiment and the uh, sets of our workout. Glute, glute, glutes and legs today is what I was saying earlier. And, um, you know, the key to uh, these exercises is having good form and um, full reps. You want to uh, make sure that you're getting that full extension. That way you get extra ripped or uh, you, 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 uh, you put more into your workout. You know, work smart, not hard, as they always say. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're, uh, we're trying to sort out this thing and uh, we're, we'll be back. We're going to stay here. Girlfriend is uh, freaking out. There's fireworks going on right now um, as we're closing in. On, on the 4th of July, we are, uh, we are, I mean, the fireworks. I switched, I switched the setting that, um, instead of, uh, setting the mics to the default, I changed them to be pointed at what the default is. So, huh. maybe they're just leaving the mics on default is broken or something. Huh, weird. Well, uh, yes. Even though the default is what I pointed at. So, it is, a uh, firework season here. We're approaching, uh, the 4th of July pretty quickly here. And um, they're selling fireworks everywhere here in LA. You can go to the uh, your local grocery store, and they're gonna have it. Back. It started again. You're gonna have uh, fireworks there. So um, I know it's it differs counties to county. Right, I'm gonna in, I'm gonna close this for a second, see if. In count. In. So you're just, gonna close OBS. Yeah. All right. We're right back, guys. Streaming. Uh yeah. Okay, you getting any audio right now? Yeah. All right, guys. Um. Hear it again. Is it the latency? Alches von Doom says. Um. I don't know. No. We're trying to sort it out right now. That w latency is. I'm not sure you're knowing exactly what that word means. Right. Um. It seems to not be going on right now. Yeah, but. But it it seemed like it did that, and then it, it came back maybe. So yeah, guys, like I was saying, it is a fireworks season, and girlfriend is freaking out because everyone in the hood's lighting up fireworks. It's pretty sick. Um, I love it. I love hearing that. It's fun. It's kind of a, a defiant, a defiant thing to do. Make a bunch of noise and and shine a big bright light in your neighborhood. I love it. It's tight. It's fun. How you doing, ouches? Um, Pooh butt says, how's it going? I'm doing great. Um, I made a bunch of pasta for us to eat, so I am um, feeling pretty good. Some butter bread. Um, the boys are full, ready to uh, work it out on this uh, folklore fitness. How's it going with you guys? How are you, Poopa? You're not working tonight? What's going on? Doing good? All right. I like that. And um, thank you guys once again for uh, tuning in. If you haven't hit that like button, please hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel um, if you haven't done that yet. And please uh, head on over to nartapes.com slash gtg and check out all the fun things you can do there. Uh, Alches Von Doom says, what up, Isaac, what up, out jazz, thanks for tuning in to Funkle Fitness. Poobad says, what you making tomorrow? Uh, my dad's coming, because it's a Father's Day, so we're going to do a father-son um, cooking sesh, and he's going to make pizzas, grilled pizzas, all kinds of fancy-ass pizzas, so I think it's going to be delicious. I think I've had what he uh, has been planning, what he's planning to make, I think I've had that before, and um, if it's uh, if it's that what I think it is, it's gonna be sick. And he's gonna make most of the food. I don't have to do shit. I'm just gonna stand around and drink shots, smoke some weed, and um, just hang out. It's gonna be sick. Let my dad do all the work right there on Father's Day. It's gonna be tight. And I think uh, he's really into like sing karaoke and shit like that. So uh, we're gonna, we probably will take donations for uh, for him to sing songs because he loves to do that sort of thing. And it's really. Fun. So uh, yeah, there you go, Pooh Butt. Um, all sorts of fun pizzas. He says I work during the I work during the day on Sundays. Ah, uh, Saturday. Oh, good, 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 good. So you're just here chilling out um, Saturday night. What you smoking on? You smoking, man? Smoking a little bit of that that, that ganja. Or Mary Jane. Mary Jane behind the swing set. You know what I'm saying? Is that what you're into? Um, sort it out. I guess. Yeah. Right. Hope so. I hope so too. Uh, Carlos Le says, El prudente realizar, error, sicio, no se duerme durante uh, 36 horas cada dos a uh, tres días are el internado de pregrado. Yeah, dude. I don't know what 
that means. TBH. Um, Bubat says, yup, yup, there you go. And then uh, Carlos says, broad, es prudente realizar. Oh, it's the same thing. All right, there you go. Probably a bot. It's, it's probably a bot, which uh, makes you think it's something that we don't want on there. Out just says, it's funny, on Mother's Day, we're all expected to take Mama out to eat. On Father's Day, we all expect Dad to cook. That's right. My dad always liked to cook. That's his shit. Me and him kind of discovered cooking around the same time, but he took it further because uh, he was a little kid. You know what I mean? Carlos says, I'm not a bot. Oh, all right. I don't, I, I don't know. Um, I didn't understand what you were saying. You said the same exact thing twice. Um, but is it wise to exercise if you not sleep for 36 hours every two to three days? Do the undergraduate boarding school. Um, I don't know. I'm not a. Uh, I'm not really an expert. More of a hobbyist with a live streaming show. Enthusiast, if you yeah. will. Um, I, but I mean, a bot would say that they're not a bot. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but I believe you, Carlos. Thank you for tuning in. Um, DLV says nice gym. Yeah, we got the uh, the Night Tapes Night Tapes Night Live playing in the background on the big old TV. It's pretty good. Tape disc is here. Hi boys, looking good. Thank you. Um, tape disc, and then she says, "What am I cuando estes muerto?" Um, what is that? I sleep then I then I dream then I die. Then I die. Yeah. Then I sleep when I'm dead. Maybe. Yeah, sleep when I'm dead. There you go. You well, can uh, sleep when you're dead. Alright, well, you about ready to do this? Yeah, I really um, hope no more technical difficulties. Um, and I'm glad I'm working out because these technical difficulties on the Narcos Network that happen on my shows that um, all the time um, get me really frustrated. And I just want to throw the computer. You remember uh, that um, fake um, CCTV footage of the guy smashing up his computer? Mm -hmm. Classic. Yeah. Um, that's what it makes me want to do. Yeah. Hell yeah! I've been there, dude. Uh, my guess is that it's not right to um, to work out if you're not sleeping right, but you know, I work out when when I'm low on sleep, and it helps me sometimes. You know get that my energy flowing. That's kind of a way uh, people stay up if, if they need to be awake for uh, extended periods of time. They'll they'll jog or work out. You know what I mean? Yep. Getting that heart rate up. Well, as you guys can see, I'm starting my warm up. Very, very low key when you start your warm up. Um, I've got some music playing, but um, but Isaac, I'm, I haven't like this. I have the the fader down because uh, um, it fucks the microphone. It sounds like shit when the, the microphone and the speakers are going. You know? Yeah. Which sucks, and I want to be able to listen to what I'm playing, but it sounds like shit. Good tits, make me a Russian. <laughs> Alright, you speak English. Stretch your colon, says DDLB. And then uh, Carlos says DDLB, thanks you, my friend. Alright, thank you guys for tuning in. We got eight watching, seven likes. Hit that like button, y'all. Let's, uh, let's get that, let's get that evened out. You know what I mean? Yeah, boy. Alright, I'm just stretching out my upper body and stuff. Thank you for joining us on the Nartapes Network. You guys may or may not know the Nartapes Network is our live streaming media network that is put on by us boys at Nartapes, which are also the boys in the bands White Fang and The Memories. Uh, we started off our operations in Portland almost 10 years ago, um, Portland, Oregon that is, and uh, eventually about three and a half years ago moved on to LA. Um, and now, as of this year, 2017, we've started our own live streaming net network, the uh, Narratives Network, which streams almost every single day. Ooh! And uh, you can you can make a donation or buy merch from us. We got lots of shirts, cassettes, um, records, lots of different styles of music available on the Narratives.com/shop store, and we got lots of items available at Narratives.com/gtg. Um, and if you go to nartapes.com slash gtg or nartapes.com slash shop and you use um, your shop code gtg, you get 10% off of your shopping cart. Carlos is asking about the channel. Um, I think that might have been after I started this little uh, description, but I'll say it again. Nartapes Network is the live streaming media network put on by Nartapes, which is an art and music collective out of LA. We smoke tons of weed, get drunk on the network, we play video games, we tell jokes, we have talk shows. This is my fitness show. It's a late night party show too, so like, we're gonna be drinking and smoking, and I'm gonna be doing a, a leg and 
glutes work out. Um, Cause someone's got to work out. Yeah, I'm just trying to. Show. I'm trying to work, trying to get my workout in for the day. Um, right now, I'm starting with a warm up. It's important to start with a warm up, you guys. You must stretch. Um, just much like how you need to uh, warm up your car. Yeah. You can't just turn the engine on and go 60 on the freeway. You need to let it warm up. Um, that way. Um, you don't snap because if you, you know, if the, the cables and the uh, the belts are all cold, and then you just run them, they're gonna snap. Yep. Same thing with your uh, your muscle and your joints and, and all that stuff. True. You don't stretch them out. You're and just... it's much like your mind too. You can't just wake up and go straight to the bar exam <laughs> um, out of bed. Yeah, you gotta get some breakfast, maybe um, rub one out. Yeah. Get, get, get your, your mind. Get your start. Get your shit straight. Uh, Tia Boone says, hey there, Carlos, hell yeah. Says, hi, man. Morgoth's here, what's up, Morgoth? What up? Ah, oh, burglar breath, vanilla, 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 burger breath in the chats. Says, vanilla I love your guys' shirts. Brett. He loves the shirts. Hell yeah, thanks, burglar breath. Bur it's getting harder to say, benevolent burglar breath. I yeah, can you say gotta, it. You just gotta I, take your time to say it I can correctly. say it. Benela benevolent burglar Brett. I'm saying it. Um, Tailboon says, enjoy your stay here. Wonderful people here. I didn't mean to say wonderful like that. Wonderful people. Wonderful here. people. <laughs> oh, yeah. There you go. I'm getting it stretched out. Ooh, I just popped my neck real good. Felt my chi flowing. Ugh. Morgoth says, I saw Burglar Brett. How? Where? Where did you see him? Where? Where was he? It seems like he really gets around. Carlos has legalized this. I love that shirt. Hell, Hell yeah, yeah Carlos. Get one. If you if you really like it, consider going to anartapes.com slash GTG and you can put an order for one right now, any color, um, for just ten dollars. Yeah. Cheap. Cheap, 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 cheap. And we send anywhere in the world. Yeah, and if you're located in the United States, it's uh it's um you get you'll get domestic shipping, which is pretty cheap. It'll be like uh two or three bucks. And um, international is a little more expensive. The range is like around 10 to 12 bucks US, I think. Morgoth says, at the donut shop, referring to where he saw Burger the Prince. Oh, whoa. Was, was he, he robbing it? Yeah, was he robbing them? The... Was he work robbing the place? Deliveries to Mexico, yep. Yes, 100%. Yep. That's even cheaper than shipping to uh, Europe or. Uh, yeah. Or, or Canada, uh, even, right? Canada's not so bad these days. I saw it, Boone. Um, don't worry about it. I'm down to uh, do whatever I can to help you out, man. Get you to America. Living in America. There you go. <clears throat> um, yeah, I was. I made. I was. I'm glad that you like that shirt, Carlos. I, I designed that shirt myself, and I uh, made it for. I felt like it was specifically. It was like specifically for people that would love it. You know what I mean? <laughs> like shirt. It's one of those shirts where it's like. If you love it, it's definitely for you. Otherwise, it won't really get on your radar. I yeah, you like. have to be like a certain type yeah. of to be like, yes. I love that. That screams to me like, you know, like, uh, dad on vacation <sighs> in Vegas. All right. So I got some pretty good stretches in. I'm going to do a few more. Um, Tailbone says, oh, the second one. I didn't read the second one yet. I just saw it. Um, I'll check that out in a bit. Um, I'll just want to do it. says, Burglar Brett just started a second career in porn. I just met a porn star the other night. There you go. Um, uh, she was very friendly. I did not recognize her. Um, and I, and I would have, you know what I'm saying? She's a porn star that I definitely recognized, but in talking to her, I did not recognize her. Of um, which just goes to show you how, um, how crazy different you can look in, uh, hair and makeup. That's right. Uh, Burglar Brett says, maybe Burglar Brett wears a mask because he had a first career in porn. Oh, uh, maybe. And or maybe he was, um, he was, like, mutated in huh. some hideous fire, like Kane. Ah, and that's why he wears a mask. Oh my god, he's hideous! Master! But he just looks kind of ugly. Okay, I'm not saying you're ugly, Brett. Um... Tailbun says, ouch, is like those weird burglary porn. Yeah, there you go. And then DDLV says, we're cinnamon jack at dough. I heard he's a pimp. I, I heard no such thing. <laughs> so I don't know what you're talking about, DDLV. Oh, yeah. Ice oh, Cube's a, a pimp. Red Uncle Funkle's a pimp. There you go. Oh, oh my back and shoulders. I've been getting it. 
Um, I've been uh, I've been standing at my desk to work almost every day, and um, and it's taken a lot out of my lower back, which is great. Um, but my shoulders have been starting to get it, and then my lower back. I think maybe I'm not stretching it well enough before I jog. So you know, this is a learning experience. You gotta you, know you gotta I... follow your intuition, listen to your body, and you gotta party if you want to party. That's what that's what the Nerdy Network is all about. If you want to party, just do it. Um, I think you should get uh, some one of those uh, those foam, yeah, those mats. foam mats. Or I agree. Like subway. I really want one of those. Because that uh, should made a difference. Yeah. Man. Like, I want a, an under desk treadmill really bad. Yeah. But that, the ones that are like flat, they like sell them for like so much more than like, like, like I saw one that was like 150 bucks on Craigslist that would fit like, j like just under my desk, but then I'd have to move it every time I put the desk down. Yeah. Which I guess is fine. Yeah. Um, I think the foam thing would do wonders. But Davey suggested that maybe the sit-stand desk is still not quite high enough, and that's part of why my shoulders are getting a beat. Yeah, you're tall. Pretty Davey's tall. Davey's a smart guy. Um, all right, let's do some more warm enough. Don't I'll forget, just... hey, uh, it's, this is uh, goes out to you, Carlos. Um, if you like what you see and you like what I said about the network and you like um, artists, musician folks who, uh, who, you know, give their all to follow this crazy dream, then maybe give the channel a subscription, you know? Every little sub helps. Love the subs. Yep. All about that bass, that bass. Brie Baked is in the motherfucking chats right now. That's my homegirl. There you go. What's up, Brie? She's got her ass in her new YouTube pic. <laughs> I think. Uh, Can't really tell from this far away. Um, Alches says Brie. She says hi, Boone. Alches, and then Tab Boone says heard the good news. It was casted for an MV two days back. Oh yeah, first music video. There you go. Boone said. What are you playing? What are you, uh, who are you gonna be? What's the uh, character? What's your motivation? Are you the star or an extra or, or uh, what the deal? Or what's the deal? What is the deal? Oh, yeah, you're watching on uh, Funkle Fitness right is here on the Narcotics Network. What's that? I said, is it a popular artist? Yeah, is it a popular uh, artist in Singapore? Maybe even somewhere else. Brie Bake says, LOL Funkle, yes I do. About calling her out on the butt. And we were going to be in a CL video, but um, I guess they passed on it. We shot it, we hung out with CL. Yeah, she was cool. Brie Bake says, way to go, Boone, that's tight. Yeah, congratulations, bud, that's fucking awesome. I like that, I like hearing that. Friends getting parts they were auditioning for and all that, that's really awesome. Oh yeah, oh man. That one's good. I'm trying to get stretched out. You know what I'm saying? Do you know like this one? Yeah. That one's good. That I like one is good. That one's real oh. good to get your like side back zones. I like that shit. Yup. Yeah. Yup. Yeah, we'll get you some, bro. Get it. Ooh. Ooh. Feel that stretch it on. Out. Stretch it on now. Our tape says R.I.P. Daddy's Doodle Den. Yup. Yeah. Uh. Oh. Tailbone says, I'm going to be the teenage virgin, vir virgin version of the singer. So I guess lead, definitely at least supporting. Yeah. There you go. So like you're in a flashback scene. Yep. And you are playing the main character. Yeah. Or the lead singer anyway. So. That's tight. That's, um, I like that. And as far as like music video tropes go, <laughs> I like when, when they do like a flashback where like they have kids that look like Metallica or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that Danny Brown video was like that. That Danny Brown video was awesome. Yeah. Good song, too. Yeah. Um, speaking of Metallica, I saw them, I saw Kirk Hammett and, uh, what's his name? James Hetfield do the national anthem at a San Jose Sharks game for the nice. Stanley Cup Finals. It was sick, bro. Was it on was it guitar and It was on, like, it was just, it was just two guitars. Oh, Lars, Lars, and what's his name was in there. Yeah. Chihiro. And, um... It was sick. They did like the harmonies, and then Hetfield would play the chords. But then, like you know what I mean, like he would do the harmonies and shit. It was fucking yeah. sick. It's fucking dope. That's tight. Like, like distortion full on. You know what I mean, like Metallica tone. It was sick. I saw them post a picture of Mixmaster Mike, who I guess has been opening them for them on their on their Hardwired tour right now. That's really I, cool. I was like, what the fuck? Because um, really that bizarre. seems like a really weird uh, pairing. So I checked the uh, so I checked the, the the comments and almost every single comment was negative. 
People will be like, fuck DJs, no DJs at metal shows, what the fuck? That dude sucks, you got booed off the stage in Philly, that dude sucks, that dude sucks. I was like, damn. See, Mixmaster Mike is sick. My guess is he doesn't give a shit, which is tight. His whole thing is that, that he can talk to the aliens. Yeah. With the, uh, with the turntables. So, there you go. Um, I could see why a lot of metal fools wouldn't want to hear that. No, of course not. And I guess he was DJing metal songs, so Weird, like, yeah. yeah. I mean, not weird. If you like metal, of course you'd want to do that too, as like a, such a prestigious DJ as, as himself. Yeah, and if you're opening for the, like literally the world's biggest metal band. Yeah, the, arguably the metal band. Arguably the biggest band. Um, there you go. Tail Boone says the gig I got casted with my CV. I got casted with my CV in real. Didn't even have to audition. There you go. Nice. Very good. That's what happens when you put yourself out there. Yeah. Um, Brew Bake says, I was on a French TV show once when I was like eight. That's cool. I like that. Alchia says, uh, that's dope, Boone. Um, Rob Bauer says, for the band Loudness or K-pop? Are you talking about uh, CL maybe? What you're talking about, Rob? I'm not sure. What you're referring to. Um, Tailboon says, I am assuming just some English pop. Oh, the band. Okay. Um, I legit don't know the guy. Alright, there you go. Cool. Is there a name for uh, this stretch you got going on? This is a uh, uh, downward dog. Alright. Oh, gosh. Oh, alright. I'll do some jumping jacks. There you go. Uncle Funkle. Get fit. Got 12 watching, 9 likes. Hit that like button, guys, and uh, subscribe to the channel. If you do subscribe to the channel, you'll see a fun little graphic happen, and it's awesome. It's fun. Kimmy says, hey, BBs. What's up, hey, Kimmy. Kimmy? How are you? Ooh, I love Kimmy! Come on. I'm the lords of the underworld. <laughs> Give me. Darkness fills my heart with pain. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Give me. That was a good episode. That's a fucking fantastic episode. Is that the one with Radiohead? Uh, no, that's the one with Phil Collins. That's a fantastic yeah, one, too. I think Phil Collins is pretty cute. <laughs> Ah, Kimmy says, hey, Isaac, Funkle, Bree, hell yeah, Kimmy! Oh, I just sucked up myself. Oh. I need a sports bra for my nuts. You should wear some briefs, some really tight briefs. Or a cup, you should wear a cup. Hell yeah. An athletic supporter, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, I can get one of big five. Yes, you can. Then you can have a jock strap and everything, be sick. Alright. I'm just getting warmed up, y'all. Rebake says, LMAO, watch the episode where Randy buys the blockbuster again today. Oh yeah, and it's like the shining. Because no one no one comes in. <laughs> and so he's like going crazy. Morgoth says, RIP Daddy Doodle Den. He's on 17. No, 17. Yep. Didn't even make it. To be one years old. Yeah, well, you do. Rubik says, too funny. And then Kimmy says, oh my god, the Whole Foods episode. Oh, I can't wait for them to get a, a, a hold on the Amazon Whole Foods <laughs> thing. Woo! They're gonna go off with that. At least, like, little jokes in the background, you know? Like, yeah. Maybe not like a focal point, but like. I'm a um, big fan of classic South Park, um, and though I like, like for example, the um, the blockbuster one, I think I've only seen that episode once. It was like it's the Halloween episode from a season that I didn't I didn't watch too closely, but I have I have definitely seen every single episode of South Park. And actually, when we were on tour in October, um, yeah, you would keep up with all of them. That was like like I missed like two weeks or two episodes or something like that. And that was like the longest I'd gone in years without um, without being caught up. That's right. On South Park, because I've watched every single episode since I was a kid. I just love it. I love those characters. I love the voices. Love the jokes. I love it. Jimmy says, "Hell yeah, Whole Foods is life." Don't even get me started on that. Rebag says, "I think one of my favorite episodes is Butter Bottom, Butter's Bottom Bitch." Yeah, Butter's is one of my favorite characters. Um, Tailwind says, "I woke up yesterday to know." 
D D D dive. Mm -hmm. The day. The D D D died. Daddy. I'm gonna make a sad like slow version. Daddy. Daddy's doodle dead. Is dead. Oh, I thought you were gonna do like a daddy's daddy's doodle doodle. Daddy's doodle dead. <laughs> Michael Jefferson one is hilarious, yeah. Um, I'll just say, I like the Grapes of Wrath episode where they run out of internet. Yeah, that one's very funny. I really was in, and they and then in the end, like it's all like Citizen Kane or whatever, and uh, and they're like playing the keyboard to the big router, and in the end, Kyle just unplugs it, and plugs it back in, and that's how he fixes the the whole internet. <laughs> it's like one big the router. Classic, yeah, the classic. First thing you do. Stupid. I really liked the uh, when Cartman froze himself to get a weed. Yeah, Go God Go, oh, parts God. one, two, and three. That Amazing. All of them. Yeah. All of them. Um, sounds great. I liked the Family Guy one where yeah. uh, they went to like That's another, uh, Seth MacFarlane's spot and, and another his three parts of the porpoises yeah. with, the, with the, the beach balls. Like, yeah. Or was it Oh my god, where yeah. They, where Manatees. They all Manatees, that's what it was. Close. Ah, that was good. Yeah. Rubik says uh, when he pays for a kiss and becomes a pimp. So good. Yeah. Then he's like, goes to like the pimping convention and like. <laughs> <laughs> that's, um, here I'll show you the background of my phone. I wonder what it is. Here. Wait a second. Can't show you all that. <laughs> uh. It's Butters, and he's holding his kiss tickets and his money. So, it's from that episode. And I just love Butters holding some money, because I feel like a Butters. Actually, I'm going to take this and get on my Instagram. Yeah. Bree says uh, all the Imagination Land ones are great too. Yeah, all pretty much, uh, pretty much every single um, multi-part episode of South Park is fantastic. The um, the one in the second season where it's all the th all the, the three different episodes from during the meteor shower. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Classic. That one's good. Wow. The um, the. Uh, the one that they're making the new video game based off of, the uh, Cartman, the Coon and Friends three-parter, fantastic. <sighs> With um, the Mysterion and... I'm really like, you're right, um, the old episodes obviously like had more uh, more grit and more like, they, they went real hard with it. Yeah. But I love the whole shit pata, shit, yeah. shit pata, shit pata. and uh, what's the other one? Shit pata. Um, uh, Sopa. Yeah, so <laughs> that shit is so funny. Soda Sopa, South Downtown South. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is so good. Like, like that's something like you can almost tell. Like, like Matt, maybe Matt or Trey wrote that one. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, of course they have like hello writers and shit, but that just seems like so soft. Like. Um, they get final credits on every episode, which I think is cool. Yeah, boy. There if you're hungry, bud. Uh, I'm <laughs> um, sorry, guys. I'm trying to get on my. Brie Bake says mint crunch berry is the best member of Coon and Friends. J.K. Professor Chaos 100%. Professor, Professor Chaos is sick. Yeah, Professor Chaos is tight. That's the a... first Professor Chaos episode is awesome. I don't. Oh, on my. <laughs> <laughs> I am Professor Chaos! Do you know the package? Um, like in the garbage, maybe? <laughs> oh, I didn't shave before the show. I knew I forgot something. Uh, you didn't shave? You gotta shave, bud. You gotta shave, bud! Hell yeah, guys. Ten watching. Uh, nine likes. Let's hit that like button. <laughs> I am Professor Chaos! Butters is a paladin. Definitely lawful good. Yeah. He, um, he, he's, he's so lawful good that he grounds himself. Um, I love that he's like such a little wimp because his parents are so mean to him. Yeah. Um, he's hilarious. Bree says that he had the best powers in the game too. Yeah, um, he was definitely, he had the one where 
his attack where it's like the wheel and it chooses one of the attacks, that seems to be the best. Have like some of the strongest attacks, some of the strongest heals. And it seemed like it was like because it was like there was somewhat of a randomizer, that was how they kind of like Nerf justified it being like so powerful, but it wasn't that hard to like make it fall on what you wanted. Hey, if you guys are watching on the White Fang, in White Fang Instagram Live, go to nerdtest.com slash GTT and you can watch my fat ass work out. Try to get rid of this belly. You're not welcome here anymore. Go back to where you came from. Go home. Go away. Yo. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. All right. Oh, I'm still going with these. I'm trying to get my heart rate up. There you go. Looking good, Uncle Funkle. Good form. I like when they send butters to uh, the uh, gay rehabilitation camp. So good. And that episode's very moving. So I like when he's like, like if, if God if God made me and I'm bi curious and maybe God's a little guy bi curious himself, and then <laughs> That's pretty good. His dad is like like uh, like moved moved by what Butters has to say and then Butters is like, you know what, Dad? I like being bi curious. And then his dad is like, you know what, Butters? So do I. <laughs> they both, they both laugh. And then wait, I think Butters is like, wait, what? Morgoth says, go home, Belly. Belly, go home. The Mormon episode, definitely one of my favorites. What's up, motherfuckers? If you're watching on the Instagram, go to nartheath.com slash gtg. The link's in the bio. I'm working out. Fuck fitness, baby. All right. So I'm pretty well warmed up. I drank my water. How many we got watching? Uh, 12. Nice. Nine, Nine likes. How many? Nine. Nine likes. Well, there's more watching Ten. than there are likes, so that means that some of you aren't liking it. If you don't like it, go ahead and give it a down vote, but don't just let it let it hang in limbo. We don't like that. We want the numbers to add up. Add it up. All right, we'll do some more lunges. I wish I had some barbells. Oh yeah, that would make the lunge a little a little nicer, huh? Yeah, I guess I can figure out a. I could use the microphone. Eh. Not very heavy. No. My um, my roommate at Berkeley was a drummer, and he was like all addicted to weightlifting, and so he put all of his uh, his cymbals and the, like tie she strings to him, and lift weights to those. That's cool. Yeah. And then he thought of an idea for inflatable, um, um, not inflatable, but whatever it would be if you filled them with water. I thought that was a smart idea. He was a German dude. I was like, you need to. That is pretty good. You need to take take that to your country's uh, so prime engineering. Kind of like a like a water. Like yeah. One of those, uh, bags you use to like put hot water in. Or yeah, yeah. And then like you, you can just keep stretching it out. And yep. Like more water, heavier. I like that. Feel this tomorrow. All right, let's see if this is what happens every time I live stream. It's like eventually there's no one. Go home, Ben. Go home. Where are all my chatters at, you guys? I, I like to be engaged. All right, it's leg day. You guys know you're not supposed to miss out on leg day, right? Leg day. Hashtag, hashtag leg day, bro. 
I'm trying to get sexy. I'm trying to be like David Duchovny up in this bitch. David Duchovny is sexy. He sure is. All right, still there. Don't want to lose any weight down there. Do you ever like tape it to your thigh? No, I used to when I was a kid, but. Just for fun? Or... No, because in middle school I got all these boners and I was ashamed of them. They make you feel bad when you're a kid. Yeah. Like, like that doesn't happen to everyone. It sure does, though. For men, at least. Should I wear my pants like this? Well, no one's chatting. No one's making sales and no one's chatting. We're, uh, but you're watching the Nerd Network. You can go to nerdheaps.com slash gtg, put in sales and donations. Um, you can show your support by getting a Fungal shirt. I know not all of you have all of my music. I don't know if maybe you just assume it's not that good or what. But you awesome. got it. But work on your ass muscles. Yep, that's the plan. I'm gonna do some squats. We're still, uh, still getting warmed up. Yeah. I've been, I'm pretty warm now. I'm going to stretch out my neck. Tailbin says, sorry I was away, don't know much about South Park. South Park is an amazing uh, show, Tail Boone, you should check it out. Start yeah, you might enjoy it. Start at the beginning. Rocky's here, what up Rocky? What up Rocky? I was just thinking about you today Rocky. Um, this track is amazing, what track is it? Were you checking the iTunes? Nothing wrong with that. Oh yeah, thanks. That is an upcoming, an instrumental from the upcoming Free Weed Knuckle Fungal record. Um, um, Rocky, I was just thinking about you today because I was working on, uh, yeah, it was my uh, attempt at making a house song. I was um, listening and thinking about house, and uh, I wanted to make one myself. House. And um, house is a feeling, not just a style of music. House is a feeling. But yeah, Rocky, I was, Working on the audio for Gut Feeling, um, which is a Nesto short film yet to be released that me and Dr. Jerry Rogers star in. And um, in the movie, you can definitely see the inscription on my glasses. Not quite so that you can read it, but you can see that it's there. <laughs> That's and really so funny. I was thinking about how you will be immortalized in film history. That's pretty cool. The music, it went, it, I'm really proud of it, although. I got some notes back already, and I feel like Nesto uh, um, doesn't want to let my my spirit soar, you know. Then he has some ideas of what he wants me to do, and I'm a little like, uh, but that's okay. It's his movie, man. He is the director. It's his, it's his. That means he gets to tell people what to do. It's his movie. In every aspect. He could cancel my music and say no. Fuck like you, it. man. You're you're actually out of the, the movie too. He probably wouldn't do that though. Rebake says, uh, Funkle, do you have any tips for someone who's struggling big time with a snack addiction to start eating better without falling off the wagon and binging hard? That's a great question. Um, I still struggle with this a lot. I um, if I, I I'd already have lost a lot more weight. I think if I didn't struggle with overeating and binge snacking when I'm when I have the chance, if I'm somewhere that has snacks, um, or if I'm depressed or get like a late night craving. Um, but really, I think that the advice, the best advice that I can give you, is um, that discipline starts inside yourself. There's nowhere else you can look. There's li literally the answer is inside of you, and there's no one nowhere that you can find any inspiration other than inside yourself. If you want it bad enough, you will you will stop snacking. And then uh, more practical advice is things like um, um, broth, hot water, um, soups are great for for um, being low low in calories but uh, filling you up. Uh, you know, drink lots of water if you're feeling like snacking. And you know, it's 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 all right to snack if you're hungry. Don't don't resist that urge. Um, 
but the key is, to, is what you're snacking on. Because um, I know that you like like pasta, and I know I think you said ice cream before. I love and, ice cream. And I know what else did you say? I think one time you said you love candy. That's some shit that you can't uh, um, you can't snack on if you're trying to uh, snack healthy. You're better off snacking on some fruit, which is nature's candy, um, nuts, seeds, things like this. Um, and really, you know. Like I said, it's like discipline is just in your mind. And so meditation, I think, is something that helps clear your mind. Um, what I've been doing, if I feel like the urge to um, um, to snack too much, I check back in with uh, with my goals and what why I want this for myself. And I think about um, all the babely men and women that are gonna look at me and think I'm a hottie if I have a naughty body. Um, and I think about the um, potential to be cast in movies and in commercials and TV um, with my naughty body and, um, and my music career and all that. And uh, you know, that helps. There's a bag of Lay's over there that I'm looking at and, um, uh, and you know, I've been avoiding bread and stuff. And uh, it's all because of my goals. But he says, super addicted to sugar. I'll do really good for like two weeks, then I just binge. Yeah, I mean, I think if you can do it for two weeks, you have the power. Um, it's just, uh, I guess you should probably look inside yourself for um, whatever uh, triggers, you know, that feeling where you feel like you got to binge. Because for me, it's like when I feel like helpless or sad or depressed is when I'm like most likely to just be like, fuck this. I'm just going to like focus my my energy onto something that raises my serotonin levels, which is eating. Um, hey, Boone says, I do tea. It lets me cut down on sugar. Tea is great. I think anything with like hot water, um, and obviously green tea has antioxidants and stuff that'll, that'll fill you up. I drink my health drink a lot. That reminds me, I kind of want to make another one of those. Um, yeah, that's, you know, like, if you can do two weeks of, of the no sugar, then you binge. Maybe a good first step would be to um, maybe not binge. Maybe just have one piece, and then start, yeah, start I, I small. Think, you know? Yeah, I think that that baby steps are a big deal. Will you pull my water bottle for me, Isaac? Sure. Um, like being able to take baby steps is an important thing. Um, and it's like portion control is a great place to start. Like one of my things is that I um, I eat really fast, and and if it's in front of me and it tastes good. I'll eat the whole fucking thing. But, you know, being able to really sort out, um, you know, how much I need to eat and, um, and, and eating until I'm full. Freebake says, I'm mentally weak. See, now we're, we're, we're sorting out, we're getting to the, the source of your issues. Um, and, uh, and if you're mentally weak, I would say, um, Meditation helps a lot. Uh, make sure you get plenty of sleep, you know? Um, um, if, you get, if you get lots of exercise, um, uh, it'll make your mind stronger. So you'll be maybe more, I, I find that when I exercise, I will come back and be less likely to overeat because um, I don't want to trivialize my efforts. And um, so that's been helping too. Um, awesome Dugan says, I'm destroying this pizza right now. With your mouth or are you just throwing it down on the floor? Nartates, Maybe which is um, Ricky's throwing says, it, what kind of pizza? Maybe he's throwing it into a uh, wood chipper. Like in Fargo? Yeah. My, um, one of my favorite movies, maybe my favorite live action movie. Free makes us thanks, Funkle. Yeah, anything for you, Bree, and anything to like help people, um, um, you know, to get a, get their their mental abilities in, in check. Um, I have slightly fallen off my meditation regimen, um, although I do get a lot of time to meditate when I work out. Um, but I meditate pretty much every day, and it it helps a lot. Austin says, four cheese, chicken, alfredo, spinach, and mushroom from only the finest mama cozzi. Damn, mama cozzi. Which is uh, Aldi, yeah. That sounds dank. Austin Jurgen says, you get my payment earlier for those tapes? Yes, we did. Um, Tay Ablin says, I love Domino's pepperoni pizzas. I love thick crust. 
Well, I wonder what it's like over there in uh, in Singapore because I know it's different in, uh, internationally. Yeah, didn't we have some in uh, Australia and it was very very different. Yeah, in Australia the Domino is is like is like a really thin crust. Super thin. Um, which is what they in Australia the, their pizza is like really thin crust. The pizza sucks there. Yeah, I, even in Melbourne they were like in Melbourne they Melbourne. took us to the place that like. Dude, this is where you got, even the American dude was like, this is where you got to get the pizza in Melbourne, dude. And then we, we went and it was all like, like doughy and kind of like wet and like. It sucked. It sucked, yeah. Whack. It was not cool. But I meant, I was hanging out with my, my Australian lady, right? There you go. Free baked, uh, says, I actually do thick, do thick crust pizza with extra toppings. Thin, 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 yeah. thin, thin crust. I like the thin. I mean, I like a classic, uh, like New York, New York slice, like a good floppy one. But yeah. you know, there's nothing like like a uh, like a Domino's or pizza, like ham pizza. Yeah. You know, that greasy, like it's like crunchy and shit. Ah, oh, shit's bomb. Oh. Maybe we shouldn't be there talking was about this, pizza. Um, I don't know. There was one in Gresham, and there I think there used to be one in downtown Portland, but there was this place right by my comics and cards and uh, land center in Gresham called Wall Street Pizza. Hmm. That was really good. Um, and then uh, in Portland, right next to my first comics and cards store, which I think was a store called Comics and Cards on 122nd and Division, oh, um, was this place Pizza Baron, yeah. They had a thin crust thing, it was really good. Kale Boone says, I want to try Chicago's deep dish pizza. It looks heavenly. Chicago's is pretty whack. Yes, I've never man. had uh, deep dish pizza in Chicago. No, I think he means the, the chain restaurant Chicago's. Yeah, there's a chain restaurant called Chicago's? Yeah. I've never even heard of it. Oh, Old Chicago's. Uh, Morgan says oh, it's all about that $5 pizza. It is called Old Chicago's, I mean. And then Austin Dillian says it's amazing, can confirm. Um. Yeah, I mean, Chicago style pizza is good for sure. Go for knock it off. Y'all like pizza, you guys should tune in to uh, Get Fabs Can You Do This tomorrow. We're making pizza. Yeah, we're talking a lot about pizza, and we are making pizza tomorrow on the Rock Cats Network with Isaac and Walfredo Arita. Walfredo. He's gonna make some dinky dank ones. Oh. On the grill. He's making, I guess he wants to make this corn too that has like it's a habanero lime like butter with cotija cheese and like salt. Yeah, yeah. sounds yeah. good. Yeah. Um, if you guys are watching, Kelvin um, says, please. oh, I mean the place, not the chain. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, there you go. The remake says, I'm excited to meet Isaac's dad. Alright, oh, yeah. hell yeah, hell, he's gonna be fun, I guarantee. Um, what were you saying, Funkle? Sorry to interrupt you. What was I saying? I don't know. Um, Could've been anything. I don't know, something about, uh, Narcus Network probably. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Got nine Share watches, the video. Likes. Yep, share this with uh, some of your fit friends or unfit friends. Um, yeah, would love to see the numbers raise slightly. Um, yeah. Hell yeah, Fungal. Woo! Gotta have your cool down every few minutes. Well, you know. I'm taking it slow because we're on the Narcotics Network. You guys chat. Chat me up. So I'm saying you gotta, you, you, do, you do sets of, uh, gotta do some different sets of in between. You got that. If you love me. Jimmy, look, Fungal's got the uh, the Night Tape Nightlife playing in the background right. of the gym on the on the TV in the gym. Yeah. Oh boy! Remember at that uh, at that uh, Buffalo Wing place, they had the like the what was the name of that place? Uh, was it called Buffalo Bills? In Buffalo. In Buffalo, yeah. And they had like their own. It was like. Just like it bailed videos off the internet, but it said like, yeah, that shit was tight. It was like their own network. Uh, Purple Laka says, "How old are you? Looking good." Uh, I'm 29. Hell yeah. Um, I don't know if I've seen you um in the chats before, but uh, thank you for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and uh, like the video. And um, yeah. Welcome to Purple Laka. I do believe I've, I've seen you on the Nordic Network a couple times. If you could subscribe to the channel, that would mean a lot to me. 
Rocky says, going to Portland in a few weeks. What's worth seeing and doing? Uh, it's hard for me to say, but there's lots of great nature. Forest Park. Union Jacks. Um, yeah, there's lots of strip clubs, Sassies, Union Jacks, uh, Dante's. Uh, Acropolis. Go to Acropolis, get you a cheap Acropolis. steak if you're uh, a Devil's meat eater. Devil's Point. Um, safari. <laughs> go, to, uh, go to Laurelhurst. Yeah, Laurelhurst Park. Go. Are you? Will you be there for Monday Fun Day in Colonel Sumner? For in Colonel Sumner? Oh yeah. <laughs> you do some hula hooping in the park. Yeah, it's Smoke summertime, weed. so uh, um, he will be wild out. Washougal River. Yeah. Um, there's uh, Oxbow Park. There's lots of great n nature. I mean, the city is in the middle of the woods. Um, uh, Mount Tabor Butte. Oh, Mount Hood is just 90 miles away. Amazing, amazing, um, majestic mountain. I feel like I used to draw a lot of spiritual energy from the mountain. Just by looking at it every day, I felt so blessed. Oh. Burgerville. Burgerville. Burgerville, yep. We'll get you some po champ, dude. Get you some poutine. Fucking potato champion. That's my shit right there. Um, yeah. Yeah, you can go to, uh, um, go to Los Gordinos. What was it? 1612 Southeast 11th Avenue and take a look at our old. Oh, yeah, you can check out our old house. Um, 1612 Southeast 11th um, Avenue um, on 11th and Clay. Which is right by a burger bill. Yep, and potato champion. Yep, and Potato Champion and Jolly Roger. You can go to our favorite bar, which it was a sports bar because we wouldn't see anyone we knew there. Uh -huh. That's why we would go there. <laughs> and we had a sick happy two, hour. $2, three, ta three hard tacos a la your suburban mom. Um, two bucks. For, for two bucks. Yeah, it was great. Awesome deal. A little good. Um, it was like $1.50 for a fucking pint of PBR. Yeah, did, yeah. Booze in Portland was pretty cheap. I don't know what it's like these days. Um, but I remember like 350 wells or like $3 wells, like yes, that's what I'm talking about. And then they would give you a beer back too, that's like the only, I feel like Portland is like the only place I've ever been that, that like, they give you free beer back, you know? Yeah. Dude, yeah, cause you could do like three whiskey beer backs in a night and not like break the bank and get, get your buzz on pretty good, you know? Yeah, I actually, um, didn't realize when we started touring that that was not like a thing everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, can I get a beer bag? And like, we were like, uh, you want a can of beer? I'm like, no, it's just like a beer bag. You want a little bit of free beer? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> they, do it, they do it everywhere where I'm from. Um, what else? Oh, YU Contemporary? Yeah, check out the YU. Um, yeah. Go to the bins. Go to the Goodwill bins, yeah. Um, Brie Bake says, I usually have horseback riding twice a week, but wasn't able to go last week. Went yesterday, and today my ass, hips, and thighs are so sore. Well, Damn. if you send a picture, maybe I'll be able to help you uh, sort out what exactly is making you sore in your ass and tit area. Just playing. No. I'm just playing. <laughs> Tail can't says, solicit the donation nation for boob pics. Tail Boone says, I can't even ride a bicycle, Brie. And then she says, I bet you can learn real fast. Uh, Tubman says, though, I can kind of ride them on grass now, getting better. Only taking me 15 years to learn. <laughs> Brie says, I believe in you, Boone. Yeah. I don't particularly like riding bicycles. Um, um boom. But I do, I can ride one. Um, Stumptown Coffee. Go, yeah, go check out Stumptown. Definitely Town. worth checking out. Um, Will you give me OBS so I can see my form? Yeah, you um, you grew up in Portland, right? I did grow up in Portland, Oregon. All right. The city of roses. Stumptown. Stumptown. Port Town. Oh. Pinball City. Do they call it that? Yeah, they used to call it that. What else would they call it? There was a lot, like um. City of Roses, um, Stumptown. I like Stumptown. Yeah. 
Because it was a lumberjack city, you know? Rip City. Yeah, Rip City. Where did that come from? That came from in 1976, the, um, the year that the boys won the championship. One of the first times anyone ever uh, tore the, the, um, the hoop off of the backboard. Um, it was a Portland player. And, yeah, and, um, um, and, uh, and the, the announcer was so flabbergasted and amazed by what had happened that he kind of, you know, without thinking, was like, it's Rip City in Portland, Oregon. And that's where that came from. And it stuck. That's cool. I never knew that. Until this point, it comes from basketball. Yeah. Portland is a really big uh, basketball town. Yeah, because it's one of the only uh, AAA um, professional sports teams that we have is the Portland Trailblazers. It also um, rains a lot there, and, and, and basketball was developed to be played during the winter months. Yeah. And, um, you know, it, it's mostly played indoors, and so, of course, naturally, it would be a really popular sport to play in, in Oregon. Yeah, where it's rainy most of the year. That's right. Or, well, in the Willamette Valley, it's rainy. In, um, in Central Oregon... It's either cold and snowy or hot and desert. Because it's like a desert more towards our bend, right? Yeah, it's a high desert. Oh, high it. desert where there's lots of owls and otters and wildlife critters like that. I like to eat dessert high. Hell yeah. You know? Hell yeah. Woo! All right, let's see. What else other kind of um, um, button leg workouts? Do Kegels for a while. Yeah, okay, you guys ever ever do Kegels or you just kind of clench your, your pussy muscles your or your imaginary pussy muscles? This is a good exercise. Just, oh, it's a good exercise for um, for a lot of things. First of all, one of your like main, your root chakra is right there. So if you relieve tension, it'll help um, your, your energy flow through your body. Um, good for... Uh, Keeping yourself um, regular in terms of bowel movements. Good for your libido and for your sex drive. And also for if you're a guy, it's good for maintaining your erection. Is that right? Having big rock hard ones to begin with. And um, if you're a girl, it's also good for have, keeping your your uh, pee pee muscles tight. And you can flex them onto the trunk of your pee pee. <laughs> I've been there. And, and, then, and uh, then that feels great. And then you're in charge. Then you're the then you're the one. Who's You've been in charge it. all uh, along. That's what you call a snapper. A pee pee that can give your pee pee a good tug. I like that. Um, uh, Austin Dugan says tighten up that sphincter. That's the point, right? Kel Boone says I have open hips, so this does nothing to me. Hmm. Um, are you talking about my stretch? Or I think so. The Kegels stretch. Now I'm doing both. I'm tightening my, my Kegel muscles and... And the cool thing about that is you can kind of do that like whenever. Yeah, you, I do them in, in, in the van when we're on the road and I'm thinking about how horny I am. Do you, does it give you uh, an erection? Well, being in the van gives me an erection most of the time. Yeah, like the bumpy and the... the bumpy the... vibration. They call it road rock. <laughs> Or a road boner. Road boner. The finicky old road boner. It's real. Yeah, the stretch. Yeah, I feel you. Some stretches, you gotta really push it under. Some people have quite flexible bodies, naturally. Naturally. Dude. Do some more uh, um, upward leg press, I think we call this. That's a good one. That's for the. Uh, for the glutes. The gluteus maximus. You want to see if that B cam is any good? Oh, yeah, let's check it out. Oh. Yeah. Okay, if I go back a little bit. Oh, well. Yeah, fuck it. That thing was not very good anyway. Oh, it's... And the chroma key is all fucked up because... 
of the, the, the ground. floor, isn't that green? It's all chipped. Someday. Someday. Things well, will be a little bit greener. Someday. Everything will be right. These are called a, a, a fire hydrant lit. Because it's like what, what how a dog pees. There's a dog right there. Oh, so you, you get it going outwards. Yeah. That looks like it's good for your, like... It's like a groin and... Groin, yeah. Ugh. Think about your... And abs. Definitely, this is an ab workout. The thing about your abs and your groin, you know, uh, those are the ones you want to, like, not strain because... Uh, you'll fuck yourself you'll up. Fuck, you'll have to be in bed. You can't yeah. move. M almost almost all your movement, especially, you know, just any time. If you sneeze, yep. you're just going to... bet. Laughter. Sit, you're going to sit up. Slowly. You're going to hurt your ab your ab strain or your groin muscle. It's very important to uh, stretch out your abs and your groin um, before you start working out because you that's the last thing you want to pull is a groin muscle or your abdominal muscles. That shit will fuck you up. I'm going to do some wall sits. They call this the skiers exercise. Um, Tablin says, I'm good. Lots of things I'm in my mind. Yeah. Good to I know you, you man. thinking, bud. Uh, I've been working hard as fuck lately. Yeah, you've been killing it. Mount Forge says, hey, Boone, hope things are getting better. That's right. Mount Forge. Yeah, Mount Forge. My man. This one is really good just to, uh, for your uh, determination and willpower. Yeah, too. for sure. Oh, because it sucks so bad. Um, Rebank says, my pupper is cuddled up. Got Fungle's fine ass moving about. I'm good. There you go. Mount My Fortune. fine ass! Uh, Mount Forge is Morgoth! Ah, oh, the uh, classic Mountain Forge and Morgoth um, friendship. Tell his sword has tied. Kevin says, uh, hey Mount Forge, it's all good. Just never had to think about something years ahead. Yeah. Thinking about um, decisions you'll make soon will uh, dictate what happens to you for the rest of your life. So true. And um, you have to you have to tread those waters carefully and lightly, and then you have to have careful consideration and, and, and deliberation with yourself, and make sure you're uh, you're making the right the right choices for you and your future. Um, there he even friends, then somebody bends unexpectedly. You know what the um. What the uh, moral of the story and Beauty of the Beast is? What's that? Is uh, that if you love him well enough, eventually he'll be really, really hot. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> that's yeah, that's, that's like a, a figurative. That's a really fucking funny point. Yeah. <laughs> like, figuratively, yeah. you know, because if you uh, if you end up accepting him for who he really is, then he is hot. That's so funny. It doesn't matter what they yeah. look like. Yeah, it's true. I saw I saw a funny one today on Facebook that someone said, and they're like, uh, it was Facebook status out there, and he said, uh, Face Off is pretty much Freaky Friday. Yeah, true. And I was like, yeah, you're right. And they both start with that. Same thing. Tejao says, Funko, please release an album of musical covers. I'm almost done with my, um, with my, um, my album of covers, although none of them are from musicals. Um, but maybe volume two will be all, uh, all musicals. That what are there. my favorite musicals, you might ask? Um, I think my favorite musicals are, um, Carousel, Sound of Music, pretty much anything Roger and Hammerstein. So Carousel, Sound of Music, South Pacific, The King and I, um, um, let's see, what am I missing, Roger and Hammerstein? Anyway, um, My Fair Lady. Um, uh, Mars, Mars, Anal Vixens 4. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Dallas. <laughs> um, uh, Austin says, yeah, I've been listening to that summer comp at work all the time. It's too good. Oh, thanks. That's a free weed and Uncle Funk covers, uh, album. Um, on my new brand of covering stuff, I'm going in on a bit of a, uh, deeper, um, Rather than like fun, a fun-loving, like sort of semi-faithful covers with like MIDI, more like changing up the songs and doing my own kind of versions. 
Tailbone says, yeah, I suck in a way as a freelancer. I'm pretty damn yellow where the wind blows me. I'll be there. Yeah, I feel that. I understand what you're saying, man. I'm just saying um, what I said still kind of, um, you know, has bearing in, in your life, even if you are uh, a nomadic, uh, carefree Ooh. freelancer. I'm not saying you're making the wrong decisions. I'm just saying uh, you got to think about it. You got to think about it like you are. You're doing the right thing. Morgoth says, people getting shot outside of NAR? No, it's fireworks season. Yeah. And um, I don't know if anyone saw from last 4th of July when they showed the aerial view of Los Angeles and there was all the fireworks going off. They love fireworks in this city. Um, they sell them everywhere. You can go to the grocery store right now and get a big old pack, uh, big ass ones too. And uh, yeah, people love the fireworks. Dude, people have been, yeah, it's like it never stops. Tailboon says, the king and I doesn't get enough mentions. Did I mention the king and I? Because I love the king Yeah, and you I. did. I love the king and I, too. Getting to know you. Getting to know all about you. And also, um, um, one of the world's most famous actors, um, Yul Brenner. Yep. Um, he played the king of Siam some crazy number of times. He, um... Did he uh, actually he discovered sing? or invented the role. He was the first person to do it, and he was one of the most highly celebrated people in the role. And it was one of the only. He was like world famous actor, but it's one of the only roles he ever did. He like um, he like was like he was the king, and the king and I over and over and over again. Does he? Uh, did he sing? Yeah. So he has a good voice too. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, good enough. Yeah, good enough to be in the, um, the king of Siam. Fun trivia fact about Yul Brenner. So to to look more Siamese. Um, in the in the movie production, he uh, he shaved his eyebrows. Ah, interesting. And they never grew back. So if you watch the Magnificent Seven, which yeah. he is like the main badass guy. Yeah. No eyebrows. No eyebrows. Interesting. A little bit of trivia there. That is a fun fact. Um and uh, and uh, yeah he um. Well, I think there was a point I was going to make in in a counterpoint to that. Shaved his eyebrows. Um, oh, I was going to. That was not really a counterpoint, but um, Siam is uh, now uh, Thailand. Is that correct? Yes. yes. Um, what Siam. used to be Siam is now Thailand. I believe um, they overthrew the Siamese uh, emperor or yeah. whatever, and they instilled their own monarch for the Thai people. Mm. So that was after uh, the king and uh, I. and uh, Alice. Yeah. That could have been the whole thing. Yeah. Um, it's crazy too when you think about um, um, a lot of the Asian countries. Like when you think of China, it's huge, right? Yeah. And you think of Chinese people as this one thing, but their country it, it spans such a large area mass. Yeah. That there's so many different cultures that are that got lumped in, in into that that communist uh, right. the Chinese like ruling, you know. Crazy, lots of people lost their uh, country. Uh, Shonerman, it sounds like a war zone on the 4th. Yeah, it does. True. Um, the fireworks are going off. What you cooking tomorrow on the show? Well, Shonerman, it's going to be a special edition, uh, Father's Day edition of Getting Fat with Skinny Jesus. My dad's coming, and he's making pizzas, all kinds of fancy-ass pizzas. Um, so it's going to be sick. Um, if you're cool with your dad, maybe you should uh, hang out with him and watch the show together. We'll be drinking. I'll be smoking. Um, I don't know if he'll smoke on screen, but I know he likes to uh, partake sometimes. I don't know if he inhales or anything, but, you know, there you go. Um, we're going to say, sup, Forge? Uh, Shiner Max says, surf and turf. Um, there will be some turf involved, and there will be some surf involved. There you go. So, there. Uh, grilled pizza, also. We're going to make it on the grill, so it's going to be like... Yeah, my dad's been doing that for a while. Um, Teo Boon, ah, dude, thanks, man. BPD affects me the most. Learner and uh, Low, uh, another that's uh, Beauty and the Beast, um, Aladdin, um, Little Shop of Horrors. Uh, uh, or no, that's Anchorman and Ashman. Learner and Low is like uh, Camelot and uh, My Fair Lady. Um, yeah, My Fair Lady's tight. Um, I'm not a huge Andrew Lloyd Webber fan, but he is a billionaire, and I gotta respect his uh, his hustle. Um, and there are some there are some Andrew Lloyd Webber songs that I like. I like um, I like Music of the Night. I like Don't Cry from Argentina. I like that song. Um, 
I really can't stand Joseph in the, in the Technicolor Jeep coat or Jesus Christ Superstar. Yeah. Anything that has like a, a rock and roll Christian vibe to it, it goes right out of the window in my mind. How do you, how do you feel about Rock and roll Jesus! How do you feel about Miss Saigon? Miss Saigon is tight. That is a uh, adaptation of a wonderful opera, uh, Madame Butterfly. Oh, it's a remake. It is a remake, God. but it's a uh, it's a remake. It's not like it's not like they used any of the music. Yeah, from. It's just like the same. It's the same story, but but changed from yeah. World War Two to or World War One to uh, Vietnam. To Vietnam, yeah. Because yeah. because so, so Madame Butterfly is based yeah. on World War One. It's, it's not like the go what they did with the Ghostbusters. No. <laughs> it is not quite. <laughs> I want to watch it really bad. Um, Bro, if there's no Brendan Fraser, it's not the mummy. <laughs> oh yeah, I want to watch that. Corey that watched good. that. I like Javier Bardem. He said it was tight. Um, he said, he actually seemed really impressed. He was like, it was awesome. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was surprised. Like, well, was he's like he on real. his uh, yo ho ho life right now, yeah. like on the open ocean, like in his little vessel. Um, Austin Duigan says, "Where are you guys at tomorrow? We're here for getting fat with skinny Jesus. My pops is in the building, and we're gonna make some food together. We're gonna do the same old dang thing. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do that. Call your dad and tell him to watch with you, and let's all let's all have a good fun Sunday." I'm out for just trying to convince my doctor that his sleep paralysis is demonic attack. All right, plus one. To, uh, all, uh, magic to spell. Shauner Mang says, pizza, fuck yeah, that's gonna be sick. Morgoth says, uh, you should record yourself sleeping. Okay. For, for the sleep paralysis thing. A uh, man for says, the summer months will help. I was fucking my girl and she started screaming, so I'm fucking harder. Alright, there we go. He continues that story, so. That's not uh, but she's screaming bloody murder, so I stop, ask what the fuck is up. Alright, let's see what happens next. Jesus Christ Superstar is hilarious though, it's just so ridiculous, yeah. That's why I, I haven't seen Book of Mormon yet, sorry to interrupt you, Teoboon, but he just said Book of Mormon is brilliant. I have not seen it. If you don't know much about South Park and you like the Book of Mormon, you should watch South Park because it's famous of South Park. They are my fucking heroes. I've not seen Book of Mormon yet, so no spoilers, please. But it is currently in LA for another couple weeks. It'll be, it'll come back very, I'm sure, yeah. all the time. Shonda Man says, I've been making tortillas pizza in the oven with a big ass burrito tortillas. 365 for 25 minutes. Bomb, that sounds great. Sounds sick. I like that. Um, yeah, I used to do shit like that. Mom Ford says she days she looks above me while I was fucking her, and a red shadow person was floating above us. That is freaky. I wonder why she would just scream rather than say something to that effect. You know? What's that? Yeah, but I mean, I guess if you see a, a, a shadow person, you could be very um, you, you could be go into shock frozen with, with scare with fear. Yeah. yeah. Um, how's the music sound, you guys? It's still playing? Um, leg day. Leg and, and glutes. We'll do some more wall sit action. It's hurting the wall, though. Have you done any uh, s uh, spots yet? Yeah, I've done a handful of spots. I need like a suction cup to it. Should just put up a new, a new clean one Yeah, because it's falling apart anyway. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, Morgan says, I wonder what Corey has to say about this, yeah? Mom Fart says, that... About this or about the, uh, the, the shadow, the shadow person? Yeah. That is a tough chick and she wouldn't ever have shown fear, but she was terrified. Uh -huh. um, Austin says, these are some banging jams playing. Nice. Rebake says, Fung, you should take a horseback ride for those legs and glutes and core. And then uh, Tablon says, love the track, Funkel coming out on the next LP. What track? Uh, uh let's see. Midnight Yogurt. Uh, Midnight Yogurt is going to be on um, the Free Weed and Uncle Funkle uh, um, album. The, de the debut um, album, I guess. Because we've released a lot of stuff, but like it's all been mixtapes and shit like that. So the debut, debut royalty free, all original album by Free Weed and Uncle Funkle, um, which has a couple good working titles. I'm not going to share any of them. Oh, Soren. Um, I don't. I don't know. I might. I might just. I might make a video for it. I might release it as a single. Um, I don't know what. I my next. My next album that I have in the work for Funkle Soren definitely wouldn't fit on it. It's another concept album. Um, Soren could fit. I'm thinking about making a sequel to Picture of My Dick. 
and I have a few songs that would fit really well on that. Um, Soren could fit on that. But I'm really hoping to sell Soren yeah, to a pop um, singer. Sell as in option the, the rights to the song and then claim royalties off of it as a hit song. You know, and, then, and you might have a, a cool setback if you decide to do that. Yeah, if I, re I mean, I already released it online, so that, but I don't know if I'm going to include it on an album. I don't know. I, I wanted to share it with my, uh, with my fans. Girlfriend, stop staring at the wall. I know there's mice in there, but it just like, it just freaks me out. Get in there. It makes too much noise. Any ETA on the CG Colander? Um, um, I'm. You mean a collab? Collabo? Is that what you meant to say? Um, uh, no, no, definitely. We're not at the point where there's an ETA on the song. I have, or on the project. There's one song that we have completely demoed out um, that I made a good, I think, a pretty good mix of the other day. Um, she has not gone back to me about the mix, um, the new mix. Um, she always has lots of notes, and she always um, uh, gets stoned and second guesses herself and stuff. Um, but uh, she did pitch a very good name for the group today, and I, we both really liked it. So um, that might be there. Might be that in terms of an update. Um, it is a. Uh, an, it's an acronym. Oh, cool! I like this. Um, and uh, I'm not gonna. Uh, did you just tell me to text it to you over there? Yeah, sure. I'm going to. Um, and uh, it's an acronym, and it uses a um, the first letter is a letter in the alphabet that is a um, a power letter. Oh yeah, I forgot your name isn't Isaac. And my phone is on. Isaac's name in my phone is currently Teresa May because I am the prime minister. Because he's the prime minister. I am the Prime Minister uh, of the United Kingdom. Because I, I, because Trump texted Theresa May in our. Hello, our Donnie. Hello. But yeah, the first letter is a power letter, um, which is um, known in the world of business and marketing to be like one of the strongest Hello. letters. All right, I see you. I see you. You like it? I see you. Pretty good. I do you know um, a band that does that. Yeah, but they yeah. don't do it like that. You're right. And that band is not really much to mention. There you go. To that be completely cool. honest. There you go. I think it so, um, geometrically looks nice and could work into a logo. There you go. Sean and Manx is cool to look forward to it. Yeah, I can't wait for that as well. Mom Fortress, get those nipples in shape. Hard times ahead and weak nipples slows everyone else down too. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Um, I do have a, a bit of a of a weightlifting for my nipples. It's uh, you gotta oh, start yeah. you gotta start slow, but it's the perfect use for my new Twitch lanyard that I got at E3. Just flip it on. Well, no, chop it on the ground. It's gonna get. Morgoth says, "What band?" Well, if I tell you what band I was just talking about, then you'll know the name that I'm trying not to tell you. Trying to be sneaky. Trying to be all sneaky about it. Don't try and pull one over the funk. We've got 14 watching Funkel. That's what's up. 10 likes. I'm just displaying my new um, lanyard that I got at E3. Can I see that OBS? Yes, sir. Will you, um, will you uh, Windows left that so that you can just see the chats and how many are watching? Um, but full, full screen that, that one. This one? Yeah. No, no, no. Windows left that. And then full screen the YouTube video. This? And then alt tab. I see. I see what you're saying. So yeah, just showing off my new lanyard and uh, doing some nipple exercises. Sucking in my, I'm engaging my core, as they say. Yeah, any sort of injury to your core um, will fuck you up. Uh, were there cosplay people um, at the E3? Uh, 
Uh, yeah, there was a there was some people cosplaying. Um, it's not really a cosplay event um, in in the way that some others are. Like BlizzCon is a big emphasis on cosplay. Um, Comic Con has a big emphasis on on cosplay. Uh, but E3 not so much. And a lot of the cosplayers are just there as part of the festival. But yeah, I saw a lot of the the Warner Brothers uh, game section had had paid cosplayers. So there was a there was a good pretty good looking. Um, Green Lantern running around, a pretty good looking Harley Quinn running around. Yeah. <laughs> um, I saw a great Aloy from. Um, Are already dressed as the Joker? Yeah, I saw the Joker. Which which version of the Joker? The um, Arkham Asylum. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was like WB games, so they like pay people to be there, you know. So they were doing people from the games. That's pretty cool. Then some, uh, Not just some fine Hawaiian chick that I finally got drunk enough to hit on and call me creepy. She has no clue. <laughs> but what a lucky cat. Yeah. Lucky good, yeah. Yeah. There you, go. you know, some people have a knack. Or, uh, they can tell who's uh, It's true. It's water, bro. Plasmatics yeah. black leather monster. Huh. I'm gonna do sumo squats. That's where you turn your legs like this, and you're like, oh, oh wow, that's like a pair of calves too. Yeah, it fucking hurts. Ooh, it's like you switch your weight, kind of put it on your feet, and then, or in your heels, and like switch to your toes and bend. Yeah, I love these pants. Thanks, Shauner. Wendy O. Williams. Um, uh, Shawn says, makes me think of that movie. Is it uh, Napoleon Dynamite with uh, when Rex wears Wando? Does he wear those? Oh, does he? Rex Wando. Oh yeah. You want to see? He's like, you want to see me throw <laughs> throw football over those mountains? Or how, and he's like, how much you want? How much you want? Bet I can put this over those mountains over there. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Rico. Being impossible. Have uh, you ever given girlfriend watermelon? No, but I've made a girlfriend out of a watermelon once. <laughs> or maybe it was a boyfriend, I don't know. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. How can you tell? Um, a very um, a very noteworthy photographer has um, has tried to link up with me a couple times about a shoot she wants to do where I fuck a watermelon. And I thought maybe it would be a passing fancy, but every time she's in town. And she gets me up and she's like, oh, I like, Tom? still, I still want to do that watermelon thing. And it never works out, which sucks, because I want to have pretty pictures of me taken, even if they are totally derelict. Derelict. Wunderbar. Fuck that melon. Fucking a melon. What in a fucking a melon. Watermelon, I fuck a lot of watermelon. Fitness is one of the hashtags that um, bots like to retweet on the Twitter. Mount Fortress fucking can't watch show, no data, just chat. All right. That's least, what's up. At least you're uh, still in there. Um, Brubeck says my dog loves it. Loves watermelon? Yeah. Yeah. I could see a dog loving watermelon. Your dog seems to like anything you give it. Yeah, you can give it poison. I'd probably be stuck for a little bit. Uh, 
I don't know. Ricky, have you ever given a girlfriend watermelon? Uh, yeah. Yeah, he says yeah. I'm pretty sure I have. I usually mean, look up anything that I haven't given her. And if it's something that uh, it's not bad for her, then I'll probably give it to her. And we've eaten watermelon before. Right now, she seems to be enjoying chewing on her paws. Her funny little Muppet paws. Now she's scratching her belly. Classic dog move. Do some uh, calisthenics, girlfriend. Okay, yeah, that reminds me. Um, another good leg workout. Shauner Man says, ours loves ice cubes. And then Morgan says, you should fuck a 10 second microwave cantaloupe. That's not pretty good. No, nah, dude, honeydew is the money melon. Remember that, uh, remember that, uh, grapefruit, that grapefruit video? Oh, uh, yeah. Where she uh, uses it as a, uh, <sighs> tell him you want to suck his dick. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> she sounds like a fucking That shit is sick. What an amazing fucking video. There you go, look at that beautiful piece. Nice. Nice, looks great. I'm gonna get a concrete table. Yeah. Oh, oh cool, Lord. yeah, yeah. I oh, yeah. Yeah. like that piece in the heart of town. Um, Austin says warm melon dong. Sounds pretty good. The only melons I like to fuck is your mama's booby melon. Oh, um, while you guys... Oh, I want it. You want it? Yeah. Just the way it is? Yeah. No color? It did it, like, literally 30 seconds. You can have it. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah. In your room? Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. While well, you guys are all in here, uh, Nesto wants to discuss... He wants a video conference tomorrow. Um, for, uh, at 2 p.m. So, we should be here. I usually sleep from like 2 to 5, and then from like 7 to 10, and then like noon. I'll be up around here. Good old Nesto. Good old Nesto. Where are you guys at in these chats? Oh, there's one. Remix says, fuck guys, I just fucked up. How did you do that? You gave the dog uh, too much watermelon? Don't get no bam of wing. We're up to 6 a.m. somewhere. Bree, the suspense is killing me. There we go. Bree says, making macaroni went to drain the water out, so we'll have some macaroni in the sink with tons of dirty dishes. That's well, why. Well, you, um, you definitely could recover those macaronis. It would be kind of gross, but, you know. You got some pasta here if you want, though. Um, gross. Austin says, gotta look at it like a colander half full, Bree. True, and also you gotta look at it like you didn't spill the scalding hot water onto your feet. Or face. Curtsy squats are hard. Oh. Oh. Um, Rob Bowers says, uh, gonna make, gonna be some extra cheesy mac and cheese. LMAO, I'm a klutz. Yeah, me too. Ah, uh, bipolar. 
classic uh, personality disorder that affects very many people. Probably a very under, um, uh, under, what do you call that when a doctor says you have something? Deficiency? Uh, an underdiagnosed ah. um, personality disorder. In the mix with DJ Narnar. In the Paris. Come for you teaching me how to still myself like water and adapt yourself to your containment. Oh yeah. Oh. They're like in the 50s, and then there was like a bunch of like colored people standing outside, and they told them they couldn't come inside to watch the show. <laughs> yeah, uh, Warner Brothers, right? So, uh, sure they, uh, sure they got that going. Tabwin says, Yeah, it sucks. Was pumped full of pills last time, and just became a fat, tired person with involuntary shaky hands. Yeah, you know, some, sometimes... Yeah, my inhalers did that to me, too. Sometimes the medicine works for certain people, but how can it, how can they be so sure it works for everyone? Ah, uh, they don't give a fuck about that. I know, but... They don't care if it works for a single goddamn person, just as long as it fucking makes you stop thinking. Yeah. Side effects may include loss of blood, death, penis falls off, no more penis. No more penis. Lack of fun. Genital disappearance. <laughs> Mom Ford says that it can be conquered when distractions come like tigers. True. Ever hit a Highland Brewing? Heard it's real good. Um. What is that? A, bre a brewery? Mateo Vex says, hello, Steven. My name is not Steven. My name is Chris Uncle Funkle Uwine. Yeah, I haven't seen this video either. Yeah, I think, I think the one you were talking about is one that came out weeks ago, or months ago even. But there's a new one. She's like, I'm like a pole. Ah. Oh. Oh. Catch a tune. This one? Yeah. Uh, uh. It's just good. Yeah. What was oh. the Pretty Little Demons. Oh. Yeah, and it's a different man. Yeah. Tail Boone says, I was taking care of everyone but myself. Really fucks you up, yeah. Mateo says, my friend said Steven was going to be here. Shutterman says, brew pub not far from you guys. Oh, that's cool. Um, I can't, I don't really drink for one, and I don't go out to eat that much either, because brew pub is the type of thing where you usually spend 13 or 14 bucks on a burger or whatever. Um, but that's cool, it must be in Highland Park. He said Highland Brewing, but maybe it is. Bree says, now I spilled my iced tea all over myself. What is happening? Um, Bree, it's the same, it's the same thing, uh, the same thing as when you feel like you're gonna, you're gonna binge snack. You gotta just, you gotta, yeah, maybe you, maybe you aren't on enough sleep. I'm really clumsy too. That shit sucks. Um, that shit makes me nervous in social situations too because, uh, I'm always like, when I go to somewhere that's crowded, I'm like, fuck, dude, like, I'm gonna, like, be like, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, the whole fucking night, so I have to, like, squeeze past people, and I'm, like, gonna bump someone's drink off the table or something, it always happens, 
with my with my because my eyes are so far away from my my ass that I just bump stuff with it. Mom Forge says I forgot my troubles when a large butterfly was struck and injured by my fan. Dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> That was the best part of that segment. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, yes. I'm my foot, your ass, here. Um, Rebake said, or Mount Forge says, it was huge, and I found out how to repair its wing on YouTube. Oh, that's that's beautiful. Um, nice. Rebake says, wow. a big time lack of sleep. Tired all day, awake at night. Five hours of sleep is a decent sleep for me. Yeah. Um, that is probably a. Uh, an issue that you're gonna to want to tackle if you, as you said that you're mentally weak, I would say that that is definitely what's going on. I don't know if you drink too much caffeine. Um, I don't know. There's a lot of things that lead to lack of sleep. Even when I'm like, like really tired. Like the other night, I got like four fucking hours of sleep, or like three and a half, and um, and then I worked really hard all day. And um, at that, when it was my bedtime. Um, I couldn't sleep for a while. Sometimes that happens, like yeah. your body is exhausted, and like then, mentally, and then mentally, like maybe you're thinking about something or something was on your mind, and uh, that happens to me too, you know? Yeah. If I, if I like, like use my meditative powers to, to kind of resist my thoughts, not resist, but like, or deflect, but like just let them pass through in, in a leisurely manner and not give them too much energy, uh -huh. um, then I can usually fall asleep by counting my deepest breaths one after the other and I'm usually asleep before I get too high too high number wise so um yeah sleep is very important and if you're if you have a lack of sleep it will definitely affect your judgment and um, if you are living a lifestyle where you don't get a lot of sleep you know sometimes you're just gonna spill iced tea all over the place Sometimes you're gonna drop macaroni into the sink, but then someday you might run a red light and kill a little girl. So make sure to get some good sleep. Remember that that like weed PSA that was like Oh yeah, yeah like, the, the fourth time that Jay tries to the drive through and he runs over the little girl. Yeah, yeah. You might not the first few times. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I do remember that. It's like, wait, what? Oh, oh yeah. The bar is called the Hormosillo, and they brew there and call the brewing portion Highland Park Brewery. Oh, interesting. I've so yeah, never heard of that place. But that is in a neighborhood. That is close. A lot of fine bars in our neighborhood. In our neighborhood. I don't drink right now. Don't know if I'm ever gonna get back into it. Maybe. Um, not. I'm not opposed to that idea. Um, but as of right now, I'm really enjoying not doing it. And even so, not really a big beer guy. I like beer. I've been liking beer more and more. I like beer when I'm like thirsty and it's hot and the beer is cold, you know. Or but like, I'm not like a big fan of the you, buzz or, or the taste. Like uh, in the yard all day, so yeah, oh. raking and shit, yeah. and then. Yeah. Or if I'm like, if I'm drinking and like I don't want to shop, but I'm thirsty, you know. Yeah. Yeah, um, beer and work, beer and, and manual labor definitely go hand in hand. <laughs> sure. the, since the beginning of the yeah. year. Yeah. yeah. Hey, like, hey want to toss a couple back, work on the roof? Hell yeah. A couple cases? Mm-hmm. Um, we got Guy MGO with a bunch of K's. Yeah. Shadow Mang says, I love beer, even homebrew. I even homebrew. That's cool. That's tight. Boom, oh, recently I had marshmallow beer. Grossest fucking thing ever. Marshmallow beer? <laughs> that yeah, sounds, sounds gross. gross. Oh, sounds gross. Oh, no, no, no. I've been wanting to make like a really, really, I, would, I want to like homebrew a bath, but like a really, really light Pilsner and call it Nar Light. Like I want to make, because everyone when they brew, they want like make IPAs or like porters or stuff. So I want to brew like a really fucking light, light ass beer. Um, 4%. Light, 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 light with tight. water, and we could call it Nar Light, and I think that would be sick. Um, Rebake says, cracking a cold with the boys, and Mount Forge says, gentleness is strength. Absolutely. I think mending a butterfly wing would be a uh, task I would fail at, not just because of my clumsy nature, 
um, and because of my brute force strength, sort of like the the trouble of man in uh, in of mice and men. But because um, my eyesight is so fucked up, I can't I can't do any of those things that require you to see really small. And uh, you know it sucks, but it is what it is. That's just how it goes sometimes. And it's okay. It's okay, dude. I thought maybe Guy would would follow up on his comment, but I was hoping. But uh, yeah, it doesn't seem that way, does it? It really was. It's called Stay Puff. Oh, like the Stay Puff Marshmallow. Oh yeah. Austin Dugan says icy. Oh. I see a little silhouette of a man. I love fruit beer. Taiwan has tons of great fruit beer. I enjoy a shandy from time to time. Who had that uh, apricot ale? Who did that? That new. One of those 22s. Do you remember that one? Yeah. Uh, Pyramid. Pyramid used to do an apricot ale. Yeah, that was pretty tight. I like that. Um, Nartape says, I like this one fruit. I forgot what it was called. Oh, yeah, tequila. Tequila's good, beer. There you go. I want to try some of that on the other side of the wall sour goat's milk. Huh. Um, Brie Bakes says, I haven't been drunk since October. Good for you. Good on you, Bray. Um, Tao Boone says, best tropical fruit. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ergie says, I haven't been drunk since last night. Uh, Puba says vodka is bomb. Puba likes the vodka. And then Shotterman oh, says lagers and pills are hard to make, but a light wheat ale would be doable. I see. That's why people don't do that. Yeah. I don't light want. Beer is, light beer is like a, a whole like a whole thing, right? Where it's like a super hard process. That's why they own. That's why only big big time breweries make it. Yeah. Well, that's what I want to do. So. Yeah, yeah. I don't really care much for the like. What's a wheat ale? Like a like a blue moon. Yeah. Like a Hefeweizen? Alright, like Hefeweizen, that's a wheat ale, I think. Um, yeah. I'm down. Uh, Brubake says, I have, I've had a few drinks since then, but haven't been wasty pants. Jaeger, or Jagger. Jagger or Jaeger? Um, Tobin says, recently tried sour beer, was surprising, uh, delicious. I never appreciate stout. Yeah, I don't really care much for stout, stout, or porter. I'm not really into, like, the really dark dark beers. Not for me. I mean, I do like a Guinness every once in a while, but that doesn't, like, feel as dark. It doesn't feel dark, you know? It's dark. There you go. Alright, you guys. We made no sales. Um, we're gonna end at 11. Like, it's, just, it's good, but it's a two-hour show now. I don't feel like we're having to rush myself. Um, another zero night on uh, Funk Fitness. That's a bummer. That is. Um, Brubake says, Jägermeister. Tiaboon says, I haven't had Jäger for years now. It was a drink of music festivals. Yeah, and when you want to get really fucked up. Yeah, Jägermeister's pretty bomb. That I shit's... enjoy the taste all right. And, uh, I like the drunk. I hate the, the taste. The drunk is good. The drunk is good. The drunk is like you just like... Well, you're also usually drinking Jäger with like Red Bulls or Monster or something. So like when you drink... When I drink Red Bull, I'm like, yes, 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 let's go. Jäger bomb. Yegi bomb, Yegi bomb, Yegi bomb. Yegi gives me a nasty hangover. Hell yeah, 100%. Headache. Yeah. We had. It's all sugar. Um, Brubeck yeah, says I'm it's the only alcohol that doesn't make me sick. Huh? He's like, well, I wonder what the secret ingredient in Yegi Meister is. It's sugar. Yeah. It's Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because every time you have a Yegi bomb, you have a whole. Yeah. Bowl. yeah. 
I got like 16 Jaeger bombs one night because of that shoot. Yeah. Jaeger. Jaeger. Yeah. 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 Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna hang out with Avalon at some point. I think she gets off work for me. Dude. I'll probably just come through and kick it. So I'm just gonna come over. For a sec. Um, Shonder Mang says, uh, sour beers are so good. Love. Go. Um, yeah, Jaeger, Jaeger's fun. I love the, the Jaeger truck. It's fun. Oh, I don't like sour beer. I don't either. I don't like that sort of stuff. I think sour beer is nasty. Tastes like shit to me. I don't want that. Nope. I like ciders. You like ciders? I hate ciders. I like ciders. That's nasty. Shit. This is so sweet. I hate it. I'm like an old man now. It's too sweet. It's too sweet. It's too hot. It's too cold. I don't want no goddamn ciders. Just let me put as much salt as I want, woman. It's my blood pressure, it's my life. Um Shauner Mang says, Jaeger makes you rage. And Brie Bake says, I do la pina colada. I said I wasn't gonna drink tonight, but if somebody in who's watching the show wanted to come over and drink, I would. Alright, so uh, putting out a APV um on no, all no, night drinkers. The other one says cider is soda. Yeah, I'd rather drink soda. I guess soda doesn't get you drunk though. That's the point. I forget. Yeah, tequila will get you drunk. We're getting shot in the face. You're like putting sticks in my old guy. Go. Those people are gonna be so disappointed. I'm just kidding. I love you and I love emotional. Shout out to Death Records. Funny too, he was like, Do you guys have any Mal Kai Club cassettes? And I was like, huh, that's funny, because he like helps make to produce like one of the, the songs on that album. Mm. Didn't those are no cassette releases for a little amount of money? And you wake it blooded, that's the way you need it. And you wake it blooded. Bow on him, bow on him, bow on him. She likes the small. She likes the tone. She smokes a lot of weed. <laughs> she likes a stone of joy. <laughs> she likes a dab. She smokes a gram. Then we pop and we blaze. We smoke a lot of weed. Oh yeah, you got 11 on All right now. Alright. Alright. Oh, every night. So smoke. Weed. Anyway, get blinded. <laughs> anyway, get blinded. <laughs> Carry on. Keep calm, carry on. Yeah, they're bombing the city. Nothing's really happening. Uh, I'm just gonna use my umbrella because it's a little rainy outside. Oh, there's the Blitzkrieg again. Um, yeah, keep calm. Oh, fuck yeah. Fuck it. Oh, you know, damn. You glistening right now, bruh. Charmang says, I'm drinking watermelon beers tonight. That sounds good. Bring some over. Bring some tequila beer. And let's watch Game of Thrones. How about that? Don't drink and drive, y'all. Don't ever drink and drive. Do the watermelon crawl. Just drink before or after you drive. Yeah. Yeah. Or, if you drive really, really fast, you can drink while you're driving. That way you don't get drunk until you get to where you're going. That's a good... Just kidding. Don't ever fucking do that. Don't ever drink and drive. It's no good. They have Uber and shit now. Bro, see. I've been I've been in some fucking... There's some alternate universes where I fucking... I died. Died. Oh, I've, 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 been, probably... I've, 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 I've been, I have, I'm going to be honest with y'all on the Donation Nation, I've been way too drunk behind the wheel before. Me too. It hasn't happened in a long time. I've been driving for like 12 years, so. But yeah, there's no definitely one... times where I'm like, wow, dude, no stay one... in the fucking line. So I'm like trying to, I have to like talk myself. You got this, bro. <sighs> you, you're like mentally like rubbing yeah. your shoulders. Like, you got this, dog. Yeah. I got this. Um, trying yeah. Trying to turn the, the fucking radio up all out. And... It used to be like a pretty... Big thing though, like in the 50s, 60s, like get a bottle and just drive around. And, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, well, like the thing with those cars too is like those cars would just like they're steel, so it's like yeah. they got an accident, it's like nothing would happen. They probably yeah. just hit their head. And, just, like, and it's legal people. on private property. I'm sure there's lots of people that like to get fucking wasted and drive their, their car around yeah. their fucking that farm and shit. Yeah. Oh yeah, when we were in, 
Yeah, we were yeah, in a, when we stayed at that fool's house in Austin um, and went down to his property. I thought we were gonna die. When we were coming back, I thought we were gonna die. Two of the the two right wheels lifted up when we made a turn. I was like, uh oh, here we go. Yeah, I would probably be. There's probably like at least thirty alternate universes where I die. Real bad. Hello, That's why I watermelon wheat beer from Twenty First Amendment on South SF. Cool. Watermelon wheat beer sounds like it'd be pretty good. That sounds great. Wheat beer is really good with uh, fruits. I used to a big thing before I moved um, to Portland in Riverside was to drink Heffenweizen with a huge uh, orange slice. Ooh, and then yes. you uh, squeeze all the orange from the orange juice or the juice from the orange into the thing, and you drop the orange slice into the Heffenweizen, and it was very nice. Delicious. Bree, I'm seeing your picture now. You could have you could have saved those uh, those those noodles for sure. Um, yo, Bree says yo, I drove super baked yesterday. Normally I'm totally fine, but I had a moment where I was like, wait, where the fuck am I? Yikes! I should probably pull over. I don't yep. happen sometimes when you space out and you come back and you're like, oh good. I'm, I'm, yeah, being too high to drive like, is oh, a real fuck, thing. I'm behind the wheel of the car. This is bad. I think it's funny that that like people will be like, no nah, man, smoking and driving is like chill. So that sometimes <coughs> affects your judgment. It just depends how high. Fast. It's the same thing. How high are you, man? Yeah. Like if you're completely like obliterated, baked, then the funny know. thing with people that are like serial um, uh, drinkers, like serial driving under the influence, Drink is is how they'll be like, they'll be like, like they'll be so fucking wasted and they won't listen to you at all. Like, dude, you, man, dude, give me your keys. Like, fuck you, you fucking idiot. I'm the most drive I've ever been. And then they get in the wrong side of the car and like pass out. Um, Shawn Man says, "Are you talking about Hangar 24 in Redlands?" No. Um, I'm just talking because, like, when I moved from Riverside, I feel like the whole craft beer thing didn't really like uh, pop off yet. So, you know, we were drinking in the bars. It was like Heffenweizen was a big one, like the Widmere Bros, and then the uh, what the Pyramid Heffenweizen was popular, and like Blue Moon was popular. Um, Sierra Nevada. Um, but I've heard of Hangar 24 in Redlands. I've had their beer and it's pretty nice. Good stuff coming out of the IE there. Very good. And Mount Forge says, where are you, Bree? Existentially. How many we got watching? Ten. Yeah, that's alright. That's an alright number. Had more last week. Much, much more sales last week, too. The most losing is show of the network. That's the worst of me. Sean Man says, RIP Doodle Den. Yeah. I wish you were here, Sean, to uh, help save it. We were close. We almost saved it. But, uh, no. That's the way the picture pans out. The giant the dude pans dead and out. dead. All right. Well. Well, well, well. Looks like the show's almost over, you guys. Who says I'm stoned? That's what up. Julian Cortez says, we have to settle this right now. Did Russians help Trump win? I don't know. I don't think he really needed any help. I think they just fucking, I they, just, yeah. they just put whoever they want to in office, whoever controls the world. House Rothschild. I don't know. So maybe, but maybe, you know. I've heard people say that there's tons of evidence. I've heard people say there's zero evidence. I don't fucking know, man. And it all depends on where you read. Everyone gets their news from the fucking internet anyway. Does P equals MP? I need to know. Nobel Prize, if you tell me. Um, what P? I don't, um, is that a, a math, uh? Mateo Rupert. Mateo. Trump is all right. <laughs> yeah, it makes for good memes, right? We got that going for our, our, our country.
Um, he seems like a, a racist, misogynist, billionaire piece of shit fucking asshole to me, but I, I don't, like I said, I don't fucking understand any of the stupid shit that goes on in politics or the news. The news where they tell you the truth. Um, anyway, <laughs> one minute left on the show. That's more of a Thursday question. That's true. This is Funko Fitness. Does Trump uh, do squats? That I doubt. No. He eats well done steaks with ketchup. Yeah. And uh, pie or cake with two two ice cream scoops. Because he's a real American. <laughs> Yeah, make sure you cook really, really well. Yeah. I like a crispy steak. I want it to break off in my fingers. Just forget about it on the grill. Put it on the grill and forget about it. <laughs> or else you're fired. Uh, <laughs> put that steak on the grill, get it fired. Trump's that piece of shit that's stuck on the toilet that won't flush down. There you go. Dude, I like it fucking so raw. Yeah, I don't. I. Oh. I Barely cook my steak. My, my dad would say, drag it through a warm room. Hell yeah, that's tough. Not even like the, the fire, just yeah. like. <laughs> um, my steak situation is a cast iron. I fucking heat up the, um, I put some oil, season the, the cast iron, heat up the pan until it starts to fucking smoke. Mm -hmm. And then I sear um, each side for a minute and a half. And that's it? That is it. That's really rare. What do you put on? Uh, dude, just salt and pepper. Dude, that's all you need, bro. Yeah. Honestly, like, lots of things that are, like, like, especially, like, really savory foods like that where the meat is, like, the star. You don't need more, I much more than salt, steak, salt and pepper. Salt, no lime, just straight shot. Yeah. yeah. Just, yeah. just tequila. <laughs> Hold the beef, extra tequila. Mat there we go. Mateo River says, what is the maximum number of push-ups Funko can do? Let's find out. You make a joke about it, tequila. It's Funko Fitness, right? Should I find out? All right, count them out for the man or woman. Or robot. I'm gonna know. I'm gonna do push-ups to my maximum I'll until do, I can't I'll do push -ups with until I can't do a single one. All right, maybe we, we should pull the the camera back maybe so that do it. Yeah. Team push-ups. Uh, Juan says, I say 25. Yeah, 25 is about is about my bet. I'm hoping to make it to 30. All right, Rebake says, I love garlic, butter, salt, Montreal steak spices on my steaks. That sounds good. Hubert says, 30. All right, ready? Yeah. Like, All right. I like indica. Here we go. One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. There you go, get it. 25. Twenty-five. There you go. Twenty-six. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Ah! 27. You gotta push it. 28. Twenty-eight. This is where. This is when you're getting buff right here. Twenty-nine. Ugh. You got. Nice. Nice. There Pretty go. good. Nice. Yeah. Not very. Uh, not much to write home about, but. We'll see if I can get myself up after that. Oh. Hey, if, if, your, uh, if your family uh, can only do five push-ups, you yeah, can write right. home about 25. Right home. Mama, I did 25 today. Um, all right. There we go. Uh, Shana Man says, damn, Dr. J. Um, oh, now my arms feel like they're going to fall off. <laughs> yeah. Mount says, he founded the psychology department at Cambridge and was head of psychology department at Harvard. Juan says, oh, sure. Cheer. And Brubeck says, someone get me a fan. I'm all hot and bothered. Yeah. Uh, Austin says, go for the gold. Boys, he did it, boys, says Juan. Uh, Shana Mang says, feel that burn. And Matteo says, woo, 29. 28. 28. I, I collapsed before I pushed myself back uh, up. Poobot says, I was almost right. Yeah, you were close. Um, Mount Fortress came out public and declared aliens were abduction humans interdimensionally. Oh, interesting. All right, well, there you go. That would, um, that would, uh, Put a nice little bow around some of the uh, uh, David Politis yeah. stories, huh? So and the thing is, were, and the thing is, if you were like a, a super advanced species who had like very advanced technology, you're better off 
um, investing in ways to tra tra travel interdimensionally than, than in intergalactic. Yeah, it's true. There's more resources throughout all the different dimensions. So, like, why would you even be fucking around with just the uh, the four the four dimensional uh, yeah universe? Are you this universe? We think that's real. There you go. Whatever. All right, you got 12 watch and 13 likes. It's 11:04. What you want to do, Uncle Funkle? I want you guys to tell me I'm sexy. Tell me, sexy. You're sexy. You're sexy. Damn, you's a sexy bitch. You's a sexy bitch. Damn, you's a sexy bitch. Damn, girl. That's song is sick. Yeah. I remember Colleen played that like six times in a row at the hi hat that that one night. Um, one says sexy with like eight X's. Remember that uh, that Seven Up commercial where they did the like the trucker's calendar and like the. The whole after the commercial was the guy goes, sexy, kinda. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sexy bitch. Yeah, one sexy All right, beach. now call me a bad little slut bitch and put it in my ass. All right, shame, shame the, shame this. Shame me. BDG's here, he says, hey, what's up? BDG, I was wondering if you were gonna pop in tonight. Mount Forge says they killed him in an unfortunate car accident. Yeah, it seems like they always, they always kill those types of people. Who's he even talking about? He's talking about this uh, author. Where is it? PBS series John Mack, psychologist oh, yeah. John Mack. I got a weird little little pimple or something on my arm right now. Uh, don't pick at I it. Hawk that shit. Juan Cortez said the road to twinkhood. Oh uh, yeah, you want you want me to be your little sissy cuck bitch? Teach me how to suck a dick real good. <laughs> BDG says just got back from San Diego. What's up, Bree? And what's up, Mountain? There Mountain. you go. Twelve watching. I will climb on the highest mountain just to show you I love you. I will. I will. I will. I will. I will. Funkle time. There you go. It's peanut funkle jelly time. Um, I love peanut butter. Yeah, peanut butter's great. Fucking egg. Super food. I had some I had peanut butter and rice the other day. Peanut butter and salmon. Oh my god, I saw this fucking um recipe online because um I was trying to find peanut butter and jalapeno recipes. And so it's half of the jalapeno with peanut butter in it. And then wrapped in bacon and you grill it. And I think that sounds really fucking good. Yeah. Um, I was thinking of a peanut butter pizza. Like a thin crust, peanut butter base with like pineapple and uh, maybe, maybe a uh, jalapeno. I love pineapple on the pizza. Yeah. So like it would just be like olive oil and peanut butter on the, uh, on the crust. That'd be yeah. cool. And then like it would be kind of like brawny peanut butter. Oh, you don't want to be good on that, maybe? Alfalfa. Fresh alfalfa sprouts. Um. Did you says, did you ever hear? Did you hear about the new Tupac movie? Everyone I know said it's trash. I haven't even heard about it. Um. Juan says, rub your rub BP on your nips. What's BP? Um. Brubake says, anyone remembers the ends of Z World? Is that a, uh, but I am retired, is that yeah. what that is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, well then take a nap. And yeah. then... That shit was funny as fuck when <laughs> yeah. it first came that out. That was an or original, uh, like, internet thing. That was like an OG E-Bombs world. Oh, yeah, we moved it back, remember? So. Yeah, but but can you see the cable right here? A little bit. Whoa, it, to me it looks like it's like out of focus. It is. That's a trip, dude. It's like going um, right past it. I'm out for it. He's recovering from a week of non-stop beer attacks. Been there. Aldo's grandma says there's a scene where Tupac takes a photo with an iPhone. Yeah, what? That. That's, that's pretty inaccurate. That's hilarious. They don't have those. I they saw um, Snoop Dogg Instagramming a lot about it and how much he liked it. But he loves all that kind of stuff. Um, Juan says, no way, you're joking. I'm out for it. says, broke, ha broke half a shelf of beers at 7-Eleven trying to get last war Warsteiner. I remember me and Kyle were fucking smashed and we had to get to Platt before uh, beer 30 uh, to get some like wine and, and beers or whatever. And it was only like from Narnia, what, like a 
two two thirds of a mile away. Maybe. Wait, so the, the one on 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 Morrison? Yeah, dude, it was fucking close. Yeah, like one third of a mile, half mile, a mile, maybe. not even. Um, like and uh, and so we skated there, but we were already so smashed. I fell off my skateboard like ten fucking times on the way there, and I was so drunk I was like rolling off of it on the street, laughing about it and shit, and like just like could barely even stand on the skateboard. And we finally get there and we get all this shit together. And Kyle bumps into me and we drop all of our wine and shit smashed all over the floor. And the guy was like, it was like a couple minutes past 2.30, but he was going to sell it to us anyway, even though he would get into trouble at Plaid. And then we broke it all. And he was like, all right, you guys need to get the fuck out. And then we like salt home. That happened to me and Osama one time. We weren't wasted yet, but we went to the Plaid on 50th and Division. And we were still we were living at the artist day, and we were skating back down with like four bottles of wine. And then for some reason, we, or we were in the street, and for some reason, this fool thought that there was like a driveway like zone, and he ended up just turning right into a curb. Oh shit! And then hit the fucking curb and like went flying, and then like all four bottles of wine broke on the oh, ground. Damn. Yeah. 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 Bad. Um. Well, there you go. Rebakes as Poetic Justice is a great movie. Yes, it is. Um, and my fortress clerk asked me not to do it again. Don't, Don't put those so far back. There you go. Alright. Well, I mean, I guess that's it. How many we watch are watching? Uh, 11. How many will likes? 14. Well, thank you guys for another fun episode of Funk Fitness. It's too bad no one could, uh, um, donate. Put in one of those wonderful. It's 11 11. Pacific Center time. Make a wish. I wish for a sale. I wish um, El Himador, the, the man, would come uh, through the, the door with a bottle of his finest um, tequila. There you go. You want to uh, cut it or what's up? What do you yeah. want to do, do? It's time. You think so? Yeah. Bye, guys. Love you. Maybe make a sale next week if you can and make me happy. All right. See ya.